What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Well, you guys see all the, the toys out here or the ding ding out here. So today, I gotta say, I'm really excited. And the reason we're excited is we're upgrading. So you guys know, in this ding ding, I put here two of the lithium iron phosphate batteries. This came with one, I added another one to give me 200 amp hours. Because of the inverter that I've added, which is nice, that go power inverter right there, what makes it nice, well, because now when, if I wanna watch TV or whatever I want to do basically, I now have power without having any generator. So, um, as you guys know, I used to bring the Honda uh, 2000 all the time right over there with me, just because, just for me to watch TV, I would have to start the generator or bring the little Honda 2000 and keep that thing running all night. And, at night, you know, when I'm getting ready to go to sleep, I like to watch a little movie, you know, or Netflix and chill or something, you know? So it's annoying listening that, and, and annoying listening to that thing all night and having to worry about the fuel. So we have put the inverter, now I got power, but now the problem is 100 amp hour battery, if you have one, you can last all night, without a doubt, that's for sure. But what's the purpose of, you know, having one of these newer toy haulers? having a solar power, you know, and they don't even come with an inverter, guys. I added the inverter. So now that there's an inverter and solar, why don't we take advantage of it? I really take advantage of it so much where Hill's batteries are gone. Are you guys ready for this? Look at this. Boom, look at this behemoth. This is a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate, 300 amp hour battery right here. By this company, oh, this thing's a little heavy too. Whoa. By this company right there, charge. Now, I know the, the, the thing you guys are gonna just go outrageous for is, oh my goodness, well how much is this battery? Believe it or not guys, this one battery right here, this big behemoth right here, doesn't even cost as much as like, perfect example, these little 12 volt 100 amp hours. They charge like $900 for one of these and I know what you're gonna say. Well, you know, you get what you pay for quality. Well, I don't wanna bore you with the test, but I tested that thing. I charged it, discharged the whole battery. It took forever, but that thing got over 90%, over 90%. But believe it or not, this big, huge behemoth right here, they're not that expensive. So that one, I wanna say, like these regular 12 volt batteries, you know, if you go these UMPF8, whatever, UMPUH, whatever the name is, um, UMPF, something like that. Or if you go to like say a Battleborn, those 12 volt batteries, they wanna charge you anywhere between like $800 to $1,100. Now I know you're saying that price is crazy for a battery, but here's the thing guys, a lot of these batteries, I mean you get over 5,000 charge cycles where a regular battery you're getting four to 500. So this thing, I should not have to ever replace the battery in this thing. Only reason, well, because I, I mean, number one, it stays charged. So the more you keep these full, uh, you know, as long as you don't drain it from 100 to zero, the longer these batteries will last. And I usually don't. I have a meter in there. You guys know I monitor the battery. If you guys are going to run off an inverter, monitor the battery. Don't, you know, start your generator once the battery's dead. The issue that we're having here is there's just not, I mean, you just need such a massive amount of solar panel to replenish, you know, the batteries. So I have chosen to go with the battery bank. Now, the pricing. If you guys were gonna go with just a regular 12 volt, 100 amp hour, which is in there right now, 400 bucks. Believe it or not, that's not that expensive, guys, because, I mean, you go, say, a deep cycle, six volt, they're like 250 bucks. So there's not much price difference, and these batteries have 10 times, you know, the better technology, they last a lot longer, they have no puker's loss, so you get 100% power. So if it's at 100 or 1%, you still get power out of these batteries. Or you go with the 200 amp hour, which is that size right there for 699, or you go with the big behemoth that I went with was 1200 bucks. Now, as you guys know, I will put a link down in the description for you guys. And if you do wanna purchase one, there will be an Eddie's Life discount code on there. That link will also be in there. Put in Eddie's Life 10, and it will save you 10% off any one of those batteries you wanna choose. So for the boondockers out there, I don't know why any of you guys would even have a gel or a flooded battery. I mean, that's that's just gone. That technology is over with, and these LiPo batteries are incredible. And there's, there's I know they're starting to become so popular, and there's so many out there 
they have, I believe, my personal opinion, they finally perfected, you know, the battery world when it comes to these uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, just because they, it, I mean, it's incredible. They got so much power and they last so long. Now I'm also thinking about putting two of these bad boys in, but right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this behemoth and we're going to get rid of all this in here. And we're going to pretty much what I, when I install that one, um, I'm going to have an extra 100 amp hour. So instead of the two, we'll have 300 now. And I'm, once I get a, another one, I'm going to have to like, like cut this and make my own custom battery tray. Uh, I don't even, they don't even, I don't even know if there's a battery box, you know, for that big behemoth over there. But right now let's disconnect all this. And then, um, I'm going to install that new one. Now, obviously guys, first thing first, kill the power. You don't want to have no power. And for weight on this thing, I gotta say, it's over 50 pounds for sure. It's probably 60 pounds, this battery. Okay guys, we had to move into the garage because it got really cold. And well, we can't, we just started getting some rain. It moved over there a little bit, but it's still coming. So um, I threw everything in here so it doesn't get all wet. But what I have done here is I uh, installed it. Now you can see there's not a lot of, and this remember this is just temporary guys. We're gonna fix all this wiring and redo it all. But right now what you can see is, well, there's not a lot of room. So, and like I said in the video, we're gonna have to do, so we're gonna have to cut that and I'm gonna flip these both that way once we do uh, two of them. But what I wanna see right now is mainly how much, you know, pretty much real, actual real time. Not where, a lot of these people will test these batteries. They're pushing, you know, 15 amps constantly or 10, 12 amps constantly. What I wanna do is I wanna sort of do like a real world testing. Head out to the desert, you know, leave the generator off and just try to run off the uh, inverter and see how long this actually, you know, this battery can last. And how, what I've done and how I do it is I have this device right here that I hook to the battery and I pretty much turn it up and the battery sits. Well, this battery sat here on the workbench for days. It took so long to drain that battery. But, you know, my thing is like, people aren't gonna do that. You guys are gonna go home, you're not gonna buy that, you're not gonna do that. So that's why I put it in the toy hauler and I wanna really see how long it's going to last. These two that I had, they lasted a decent amount of time. What really started sucking the battery was at night. Obviously there's no sun, solar's not working, you know. Uh, at night you got all the lights on, you know, you got a ton of stuff on that is not on during the day. And during the day, you know, you, you don't have any lights on. I mean, there's no lights outside. So at night, and you'll see once we head out to the desert, we're leaving tomorrow. So once we get out there, you guys know, like all my lights turn on, it starts drawing power, TVs are on, the heater kicks on at night. So I cannot go with these two batteries. I lasted about a day and a half a little bit, probably a little, a little less. So I assume now having an extra 100 amp hours, I should be able to go, you know, we usually go out there from a Thursday to a Sunday. This trip we're going Thursday to Monday. So what I'm gonna do basically is I'm gonna just see how long this puppy, you know, can last. And I'm gonna show you guys what's on, what's, you know, being turned on, what's usually running. And also I do wanna let you guys know. So for you guys out there, you can't just go like, buy one of these batteries and throw it in. It's not gonna work. You can't charge, like this battery, say for, here's an example. Actually, it's probably not a good example because this actually charger can charge that battery. So you see that option right there where it says life? I don't know if you guys can see it. So see it says flood, AGM. Let me, let me turn the light on here. Right now it's on flood because it just keeps this uh, full for my fuel tank, but you need a charger for a lithium iron phosphate battery, which these Napa ones can do that. A lot of chargers are doing that now. Now, is it a big thing? No, because your charger probably already charges LiPo batteries. A lot of you guys that have, and that doesn't even have to be even new. A lot of you guys that have, you know, a couple of years old, five years old, they're already, they have the capability of charging lithium iron phosphate batteries. So say you were gonna go, you know, with two of these 12 volts, uh, you know, and put 200, 200 amp hours in there, or 100, 100 amp hours in there. You guys gotta remember, it's not the amp hours, it's they have no Puker's Law, so you get punch. 
I mean, just the full battery, if it's a 1% or 100%, you get that full power out of it. But as of right now, guys, everything's done, installed. I'm gonna uh, let that thing charge up fully, and then we'll get out there and start testing. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe, and all the info will be down in the description on uh, the battery if you wanna purchase it, and the link will be down there also. Peace. Yeah.